habitantes de La Vega, El Valle y Montalbán. A television newscast on board a bus in Venezuela. It's called El Bus TV and it's the brainchild of journalists and artists in the capital, Caracas. They say it's the only way for passengers to get the real news about what's going on in the country. Our observer Claudio Lizardo is one of the founders. Here's how it works. We choose topics like the ongoing demonstrations against the government or other stories about politics, sport and culture. A team of five people gets onto a bus. One of them is the presenter. They read the news in a TV-shaped frame that we made ourselves. The newscast is three minutes maximum. When we finished, we get off the bus. The passengers usually react well. And sometimes they start debating the topics amongst themselves. Reporters Without Borders ranks Venezuela 137th out of 180 countries for freedom of the press. The watchdog group says it's getting harder and harder for Venezuelans to get accurate news about the demonstrations. The government's been controlling information more and more closely in the past few years, especially among the mainstream media, print, radio and TV. You can get around the censorship on social media, of course, but only half the population has access to the Internet. And most of them don't know how to find good information online, how to search for news on Twitter, for instance. That's why we thought it would be useful to do the news on buses. There are bus routes everywhere, so it's a way of reaching people who live in all the different neighborhoods. And the buses are run by private cooperatives, so it's easier to get access than on the metro. Claudia says she and her team haven't had any problems with the authorities so far. But they are lucky. Since the demonstrations began in March, around 200 journalists have been attacked, most of the time by the police.